Let's welcome to the show Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick. Uh, let's first deal with this news. House Speaker Pelosi is not retiring. Reports coming in. She will seek reelection. OK, Congressman, you've been in on this group of more than two dozen House lawmakers saying Speaker Pelosi, Kevin McCarthy immediately schedule a vote on this bipartisan push to stop stock trading by sitting lawmakers while in office. Is this a serious thing? Is this going to happen, this vote? It, thanks for having me, Elizabeth. It better happen. Uh, Elizabeth, as you're, as you're aware, before serving in Congress, I was an FBI agent uh, starting in New York City, where I worked in the white collar crime unit. Uh, if the American public is investigated for insider trading, why should members of Congress not be subject to the same rules? Uh, because the reality is, Elizabeth, that as members of committees, we have closed door briefings, uh, oftentimes with corporate CEOs, corporate executives, board members, and members of Congress in the course of legislating. And in the course of policymaking, learn information that they should not be permitted to trade stocks on. So there's two uh, uh, bills out there. The, 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 the bill that passed in 2012, essentially, this, uh, it's called the Stock Act, is toothless. It's, it's been around for a long time and has not worked. So there's a couple of pieces of legislation out there. They're all bipartisan. Uh, yeah. One requires blind trust, and the other has an outright ban on members, their spouses, and their children from trading stocks up until 180 days after they leave Congress. Got it. You know, polls show Americans don't like this at all. You know, we've got reports showing 105 congressmen traded nearly $290 million worth of stock. That's according to a report from a Wall Street shop called Unusual Whales. They do an options alert uh, on, about this. And that, the, that Congress beat the S&P 500. Nancy Pelosi's husband beat the S&P 500 as well. You look at the timing of the Pelosi family stock trades. Uh, she's one of the top traders in Congress. Uh, her husband, rather, is. Her husband, rather, is. Um, you know, U.S. Army contract with Microsoft, two, 22 billion contract high tech headsets, virtual reality, right? And the husband trades, exercises call options two weeks prior. You know what I mean? And, and they doubled their, he doubled their position overnight on that. Yeah, Elizabeth, there's a problem on two fronts. Number one, you don't want members of Congress trading proactively based on information they learn. And second, you don't want them policymaking and legislating in a way that protects their existing portfolio. This should be a no-brainer. Uh, this is a bipartisan push. The Stock uh, Act of 2012 clearly is not working. We now know that. So why not do this? And, you know, at, at a time when we are so desperate uh, in need, Elizabeth, of restoring faith in our institutions, including Congress, this should be a no-brainer. We, we can't have rules apply to thee but not yeah. to me. Um, and that's what we're that's fighting right. for. This is a swamp in overdrive. You, you know, Americans no. are cynical. The, the congressional approval ratings are, you know, down in the low double digits. I mean, across Twitter and TikTok, their entire <laughs> followings dedicated to the trades of members of Congress, buying what they're buying as an investing yep. strategy. That's not a good look for this country at all. I mean, the, you're right about lawmakers overseeing military contracts, infrastructure, COVID spending, cryptocurrency. So do you see it? Do you are people in Congress talking about this? Are they worried that they're being seen as taking advantage of their elected office? What do you what do you hear? They should be. Uh, you should not be trading stocks as a do member we, of Congress. Are they are they worried about it? Are they talking well, about it? We're going to find out and we're going to find out if we can get 290 co-sponsors on either one of these pieces of legislation under the rules. It puts it on something called the consensus calendar. It, it circumvents House leadership, forces a full floor vote on the U.S. House of Representatives. That's what we should see. Everybody should be forced to vote on this issue, go back home, and explain their vote to their constituents. So I encourage all of your viewers, Elizabeth, Got reach it. out to your member of Congress, no matter where you live, get them to co-sponsor these bills. Congressman Fitzpatrick, it's great to have you on. Come back again soon, okay? It's good to see you. Thanks for that great conversation.